Greetings, this is a video that's been requested by a connoisseurs on the uh, My Humour page where you can vote for what humour you want me to do. Uh, you have asked for a rant on the subject of public transport. As you can hear, uh, I'm backstage in the Bloomsbury Theatre and my support act Malcolm Head is on the stage, going well. One of his best jokes there. We will silence him whilst I mention about this uh, public transport. Isn't it a nuisance when you're on public transport? It's a nightmare, isn't it? One of the things that's a nightmare is all the announcements. Like, uh, as if it wasn't bad enough going on public transport. They kind of, uh, it's like a sort of torture. They just keep making all these announcements all the time. Just, I think it's just to annoy us. One of the classic ones they do is, and they say, uh, very annoying this one, they say, please keep your belongings with you in the interest of security. No! How about keeping our belongings with us in the interest of keeping our belongings with us? Just because we want the items. I mean, that is generally my motivation for taking my luggage with me. I sort of think, uh, yeah, I pack these things myself. They will be quite useful. I'm going on holiday. I'd quite like some clothes to wear, so I'll take it with me. But then they follow it up with that even stupider thing when they say, um, they say, if you leave your luggage unattended, it may be destroyed. I mean, man, that's stupid, isn't it? I mean, you cannot destroy matter. I mean, everyone knows, I mean, you can't, I mean, Einstein, that was years ago, like in the 20s or something, wasn't it, that Einstein showed using the formula E equals MC squared. Uh, and people always get, oh, they always say, oh, when you say like a formula, I mean, that is the most famous formula in physics. And people always say, who oh, don't understand formulas? They get all, but it's not difficult. It's saying, basically, E equals MC squared means that if you destroy matter, M is for matter, then you will create a massive amount of energy. In fact, enough energy to probably provide a decent railway service. That's annoying. Another thing that is annoying is, uh, um, oh yeah, that's the most annoying announcement ever. Is uh, mind the gap. You know when they say that? They all say, mind the gap, mind the gap. It goes on all day, doesn't it? Mind the gap, mind the gap, mind the gap. I mean, I don't mind the gap. I mean, why are they criticising the one thing about the, the trains and so on that I, I actually like? The fact there's a slight gap between the train and the platform, which to me just gives a slight frisson to getting on the train. It's a little bit, bit sexual, isn't it, when you get the, you get the cap? I mean, actually, sometimes I do get a bit nervous of the gap. I mean, I think we all do, don't we? I mean, it's natural. I mean, it's all right for me to dismiss it like this glibly here in this room. But uh, we've all been on a train and they're saying, you know, all the minor gap there, and you're thinking, well, you know, uh, I've coped with gaps before, but uh, they've mentioned this three or four times now. This must be a considerable gap. But there's no need to be nervous of the gap. This is something that I've learned, and I'll just pass it on to you, fair of charge sort of thing. It's just something I've discovered. And that is, well, the fact of the matter is that you can always get over the gap by the method of stepping. Uh, you will find that if you take a step, in fact, a similar size step, in fact, to if there were no gap, then you would confidently clear the gap. You just think, I've done it. I've defeated the gap of death. That is annoying. Other things that are annoying is the quiet carriage on the trains. I don't know why people always say, uh, I mean, and they I mean, always like, it's like some indignant, some, you know, like if you say to them, excuse me, it's a quiet carriage, they're all like so angry about it because they can't speak on their phone and they have no headphones. I mean, you know, uh, these things are relatively recent anyway. I mean, 25 years ago, 25 years ago, there was no mobile phone, uh, there was uh, no, um, like, uh, CD players or anything that hadn't been invented properly, I'm exaggerating. But anyway, the point is, these technologies are new. 25 years ago, well, there was no quiet carriage, there was no need because we didn't have the technology. 25 years ago, on a train, people would have just maybe took out a violin and played a tune, something like that. Or the mandolin was popular in those days. I mean, you would get mandolin-free carriages, but it's mainly because the man, a lot of people get annoyed by the mandolin. People would like the violin, but it's not the mandolin can go out of tune so quickly. 
and a lot of people play it. They always think they can play the mandolin, but you always think, mm, just a little bit flat there. You <laughs> need to concentrate on the dominant seventh or something. Uh, finally, in this rant, oh yeah, another annoying thing, when they say, oh, well, this train is being held here to regulate the service. I mean, what does that mean? I mean, you've been delayed by about 28 minutes already. You've got on the train, it's piss poor, and then they say, regulate the service because... Uh, what is it? Because there's a train, it's too prompt. No, is it because there's a train, they've got to wait because there's a train ahead. I don't understand it. Very annoying. Another annoying thing is, uh, oh yeah, when they say customers, these uh, years ago they used to call people passengers and everything was alright. Now they always call everyone customers. But that, every, calling people customers has gone hand in hand with them making the service piss poor and treating everyone really badly. Uh, and I can't prove that statistically, but I know it has happened. Because they were saying, when it comes to allow customers off the train, but they absolutely hate you. That's another thing I can't prove. I can't prove this, but we all know it, that when you're on the trains or anything like that, that all the staff absolutely hate you. <laughs> it can't prove it. If you ask them, say, so, do you know the way to some sort of which train? They'll always be polite, but you know they hate you. Finally, uh, this is not really an um, observation, it's really, it's more, I put pre assigned seat. Uh, I don't know what that means, but that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it sounds, that's annoying, isn't it? When you've got the pre assigned seat and you can't, and then there's other people in the pre assigned seat, very annoying. Now, finally, uh, I've written, this is more just. Um, not observations really, it's just, it's not scientifically proven what I'm saying, it's not anything really, it's just word association. Now I've put uh, coach, gloom, bus, wheelchair, I've put it out there, <laughs> tram, rape. So that concludes this rant on the subject of the public transport and we conclude by listening to the performance. It's gone well and it's the interval. <laughs> Goodbye and please vote for the next uh, piece of humour you want me to do which will come out in a couple of months. Goodbye. <laughs>